Now we're going to set up our development environment to build applications using Angular. The great advantage of uh, web development, at least on the client side, is that you don't really have a whole lot of uh, setup steps in order to start working on something. When you're working on HTML and JavaScript, the setup and the kind of software you're going to need is, is relatively light when compared to some other platforms. So there are two requirements, two pieces of software that I'd like to have uh, installed on my machine before I work on Angular. First is a text editor. Any text editor should really do, but I prefer having a text editor that has an option of opening multiple files or opening a directory. Uh, the editor that I am going to be using in this course is called Visual Studio Code. This is a free editor by uh, Microsoft and this works on Mac and Windows and I believe on Linux as well. So this is going to be the editor I'm going to use, but there's really nothing special about this editor. Any text editor should do. The only requirement, at least in my mind, when you're working on an Angular application would be, you need to be able to open multiple files. You see here, this editor has a tree view. I'm, I've opened an empty directory right now, so there's really nothing here. But if I were to open a directory which has files, so th that directory and the contents of the directory would show up over here in the tree view, so I can switch between files easily by clicking on the file. So this is a handy feature, even though this even this is not required any text editor should do. Uh, some other recommendations that I have are Atom by GitHub, and uh, there's also Sublime Text, which is a very popular editor among uh, web developers, but that one isn't free. Uh, Atom is free, Visual Studio Code is free, and Brackets by Adobe is another editor which is free. I'm gonna link to all these editors in the description, so definitely take a look and uh, pick one which you like and use that for our development. But for the sake of this course, I'm gonna be using Visual Studio Code. So this is the first software that you need. The second piece of software that you need is a web browser. This is obvious, you're doing web development, you definitely need a web browser. Uh, the browser of choice, however, that I recommend for this course is Google Chrome. I'm in general not a big fan of Google Chrome, but uh, that's the browser that has the best support for Angular development, considering that, you know, Angular is from Google, probably. You can probably use another browser, but I recommend using Google Chrome for this course. Uh, again, like I said, not my favorite browser, but I grudgingly use it because it has really good Angular support. So these are the two softwares that you need to have installed. I'm not going to show you the installation step. I'm pretty sure you probably have uh, at least one or even both of these softwares already installed on your machine. So just, if you haven't, just have this set up. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll actually start building an Angular application.